In the last Science Minute, we talked about the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and we used it to demonstrate that the pressure of a football can go down when we lower the temperature. Now we're going to see how we can use the ideal gas law to actually predict how much the pressure will go down for a given drop in the temperature. And as before, despite there being some arithmetic, it's not that scary. To see how this works, we're going to revisit our old friend, the ideal candy law, P equals nR, where P is the price of the candy, N is how much candy we have, and R is how much the candy costs per unit. In mathematical terms, this means that the price of the candy is proportional to the amount of the candy. This is fairly intuitive. We have twice as much candy, it's going to cost twice as much. Half as much candy, it'll cost half as much. All right, here we have a small container of candy. Now, in order for proportions to work, we have to measure all the way down to zero what we would call the absolute measure of the candy. So I have, we know that this much candy costs $12. So we have to know what proportion of the candy are we trying to buy here. So I have to put it in so we can measure it all the way from zero, get the absolute measure. Okay, we can see it's one, two, three, four units of the candy, and the nice thing about proportions is we don't even need to know what the units are as long as we use the same ones. So I'm going to, we have four, I'm going to pour it out, and down to, now we have three units of candy. So this is one unit out of four, so this is one quarter of the entire candy. Now we know the entire candy costs $12 which is nicely in four rows, so I just take one of those rows, one, two, three, and now we know that this dish of candy costs three dollars. Now, back to the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. For purposes of this discussion, we're gonna assume that the volume of the football, the amount of air inside the football are constant, and R is always a constant, so P, the pressure, is proportional to T, the temperature. Okay, how much did the temperature go down? Now remember, we're assuming it was 70 degrees inside the locker room, but we need the absolute measure, just like we needed the absolute measure of the candy, we need the absolute measure of the temperature. 70 degrees above zero, but the way things work, there's something called absolute zero, which, just happen to know this is 460 degrees below what we normally think of as a zero. So we have to add those 460 degrees onto the 70, which means that we're actually at 530 degrees absolute temperature. If you want to brag to your friends, these are called Rankins. Okay, let's assume it's 20 degrees less on the field, so that would be 510 degrees, or Rankins. How big a drop is that? You can check my math, but 510 from 530 is a 4% drop. Okay, so if we had a 4% drop in absolute temperature, we now need a 4% drop in absolute pressure. What was the pressure? Well, as we've heard numerous times, the footballs were set to 12.5 pounds per square inch before the game. But that's not the absolute pressure. The absolute pressure, we have to add on the external atmospheric pressure, which we're gonna approximate is 14.7 PSI. Add those together, you get 27.2 PSI. 4% drop, just like we had with the candy. We take a 4% drop in the temperature, gives us a 4% drop in the PSI, which you can take my word for it or calculate it yourself, is 26.1 PSI. Then we have to take off the atmospheric pressure because we don't know what the football pressure is, and that gives us 11.4 PSI. Inside the football, during halftime predicted, and for those of you keeping score, that just happens to be just about the pressure of the Patriots footballs during halftime. What's the conclusion? We won our Super Bowl legitimately. No, worry not. If you have any questions you want answered on the Science Minute, send them to science at joeyfriedman.com.